What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, and we continue our series, The Road to the Title for the French Open. And we're going to have a look at Stefano Sitsipas, who's been given a very favorable draw, not having to play against the likes of Djokovic and Nadal until the final. So let's go have a look at his potential opponents for the French Open for 2021. So Sitsipas, he starts his first round off against Jeremy Shardy, who is a very tricky first round opponent, but Sitsipas does have a 2-1 head-to-head record over Shardy, but it will be the first time they've ever played on clay. So might be a little bit of a test for Sitsipas in his first match. His second round matchup is most likely going to be against Sebastian Corda, a player that he's never played before. But we know Corda has been playing very well over the last couple of months. But you'd expect that City Pass will have too much experience and get the win on the clay. City Pass's third round opponent is likely to be the 31st seed, John Isner. And these two have played five times before, with City Pass leading the head to head 3 2. So it's a very close head to head. And they have never played on a clay court. So if they do meet, it'll be the first time that they've ever played on a clay court. But City Pass has won their last three matches, including. Acapulco a little bit earlier this year, so you'd expect City Pass should get the win over Isner. Going into the fourth round now, there are two potential opponents for City Pass. The most likely being the twelfth seed, Corino Busta. And City Pass has played Corino Busta twice before, winning both those matches. With one of those matches being a clay court match back in 2018 in Barcelona. So City Pass also has the win on clay. So you'd expect him to get through Corino Busta, or he could actually face the number 17 seed Rayonic in the fourth round. And Rayonic has a 2-0 record over City Pass. Pass, but both of those are on hard court. So if City Pass did play Rayonic in the fourth round, you would definitely give the win to City Pass. Heading into the quarterfinals now, and there are two big names that City Pass is going to have to watch out for. The most likely being number 22 seed, Christian Garin, who's been in form this year, and he is a great clay court player. They have played the twice before both matches on clay, with City Pass winning them both, including a match in Monte Carlo only a couple of months ago. So Steph will have the confidence against a guy like Garin, but I don't expect it to be easy. The other opponent could be the 32 second seed Opelka, who has proven that he can play on the clay. And Sitsipas has only ever played Opelka the one time before, getting the win through a retirement halfway through the match from Opelka. So if Steph does play Opelka, he'll be liking his chances, especially at the French Open. The semi-finals are where things get really, really tough because there are three players potentially in the way of Sitsipas making the final. First one being Dominic Team, the number four seed. Team has a 5-3 head-to-head record against Sitsipas, but their clay court matches have been split 1-1. So if they do play in the semi-finals, Finals, it'll be a very even match. And based on 2021 form, I like City Pass's chances. The next roadblock potentially for City Pass's first Grand Slam final is Alexander Zverev. But City Pass has a 5 2 record over Zverev, also winning their only match they've ever played on clay. So City Pass against Zverev on clay, he will be the favorite. And the third player that potentially City Pass might have to face in the semi finals is the 15th seed, Kasper Rudd. And these two actually played a couple of weeks ago in Madrid with Rudd getting the straight sets win. So interestingly enough, Rudd might be the toughest his opponent for City Pass if he gets to the semi-finals, even though Zverev and team are fellow top 10 players with City Pass. So City Pass will probably want to avoid Rudd based on their head-to-head -head recently. Going to the final now, and if City Pass does make the final, there are two players he is most likely to play. Rafa Nadal and Novak Djokovic. So big, big names. Let's start with the number three seed, Rafa. So he does have to play Nadal. Nadal has a 7-2 record against City Pass. But they did play a couple of weeks ago in Barcelona. And City Pass had chances to win that match. He actually had match points against Nadal. Nadal ended up getting the win. So City Pass will like his chances against Rafa, even though it'll be a best of five set match on the clay courts. If he was to face Novak Djokovic in the final of the French Open, Djokovic has a 5-2 head-to-head record against City Pass and a 3-0 record record for Novak on clay, including a couple of weeks ago. But City Pass did have his chances in that match. So again, he'll be liking his chances against Djokovic in that final. And remember last year at the French Open, they played in the semifinals and it went five sets with Djokovic getting the fifth set after City Pass started to tire. So it'd be interesting to see if they do play in the final, how far City Pass has come since their match about six months ago. So there it is. That is the projected road to the title for the final City Pass. Let me know down in the comments below how far can he go? I think he can make the final. He's been playing great tennis on the clay in 2021. He's been the best player in 2021. He's won more ranking points than anybody else. But if he can get through Zverev or team in that semi-final, he'll probably be able to make his maiden Grand Slam final and then have to take on either Nadal or Djokovic. So Stefano City Pass, he's got a really, really good draw all the way up to the final.